Hello my friends and welcome back to another lino printing video. Today I'm going to go through how I made this Monstera print which is like kind of my new favourite print. Uh, so I started with sketching it all out on my iPad. I'll do this because it's a lot easier to delete things if you make a mistake or move things around it just makes it a lot simpler and then I can easily print out the design and uh, transfer that to the lino. So here I have printed out the Monstera design and you'll see also two different designs that aren't in this video. Um, right now I'm experimenting with a new method of transferring the design to the linoleum. This didn't really work but it partly did so I'm just gonna um, talk for it a bit. So I traced the design from the printout using baking paper and a pen and now I'm going to iron it on. So this method didn't really work ironing directly onto the baking paper as it melted the linoleum below but I tried it with a different design and I put a tea towel in between the baking paper and the iron so you're ironing onto the tea towel not onto the baking paper and that worked a bit better um, but still I did one for a bit too long and that kind of melted the lino below and then I did one where I just ironed on a few strokes and that worked quite well. It doesn't transfer all the details so you do need to go over it again with a pen on the lino sheet itself. So this isn't the best method and I'm still trying to figure out a, a good method for transferring the design onto the lino print that doesn't take too much time. So if anyone has any good tips, please let me know. So from here, I use my carving tool to carve out the design. You need to make sure you're carving away from yourself and away from your fingers because the, the tool can quite easily slip and I've definitely cut my fingers many many times because uh, they've just been right there and the tool has slipped into them. Um, but yeah, it, it's quite a fun relaxing thing to do while at the same time being kind of tedious um, but yeah it's it's just the whole the whole lino printing process is very very time consuming but really really enjoyable um, I really enjoy printing and and carving out these designs and even just like thinking of them so it was really really fun to do and I had this idea in mind for quite a while so it was really fun to actually be able to do it and it worked out better than I would have hoped for. So once you're done carving, you can then print, which is the fun part and also sometimes the heartbreaking part because you think everything's going to go well and then there's often so many prints that you can't use because you've really messed it up. Um, but I had fun printing this one. I decided to keep it simple with the prints and just do black. So I did black on um, 
normal card paper and I also printed on um, some craft cards like greeting cards and then I also printed on a vintage book that I found in my grandma's attic Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this and like my other videos, please consider subscribing, but obviously it's up to you. If you have any feedback, anything you particularly enjoyed or um, concerns, comments, uh, critiques, please let me know in the comments below. Hopefully these prints will be available in my shop. I haven't updated that yet, but I'll be announcing it all on Instagram. So if you want to stay tuned, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Have a great day, have a great week, and I'll see you soon.